what it is, what it do. I may won. This is Destiny. And as I'm sure most of y'all probably already know, patch 2.0 has been released. And there's a lot of new stuff that came with that patch, especially in regards to the tower. So what we're going to do in this video, I'm going to show y'all some of the new kiosk where you can store your shaders, your emblems, your ships, and your vehicles. And I'm also going to show what some of those new ships look like a little bit later in the video. But first, we're going to start off with the Vanguard class mentors. And I already showed the Crucible Quartermaster and the Crucible Handler, and there wasn't anything new with those two vendors, so that's why we're starting with the class mentor. Now, once you go see your Vanguard class mentor, he's going to give you a couple of quests to do, which are both really easy to do, and your mentor will also offer you two different class items each one having a different light level. And I believe the first one he offers you has 130 defense and the second one he's gonna offer you has 160 defense. So if you wanna try to increase your light level now, a great way to do it would be to equip that second class item that your mentor offers you. And in the same area where your mentors are, you'll also find a kiosk that's designated for exotic weapon blueprints. And not all of these blueprints are gonna be available right away. Some of these blueprints require that you make some sort of discovery as in finding a specific item that you'll need. And some of these exotic weapon blueprints also require a level 40. But as for the exotics that they do show, it also says that you'll need at least 150 legendary marks in order to upgrade that specific exotic. Also keep in mind that there is the option to infuse your weapons as well, which will boost the attack value of that particular weapon. And there's also another kiosk that's designated for abandoned quests. So if for some reason you accidentally deleted one of your quests, or if you wanna do one of them over again, you can go to this kiosk and acquire it that way. Another thing I want to quickly point out is that Eris Morin's location has been moved She's no longer outside where she used to be. Instead, she's inside near the Crucible Quartermaster and the Crucible Handler. Now, Eris's original bounties have been retired as her focus shifts from Crota to Oryx. You can earn reputation with Eris by killing bosses in the Crota's End raid or through new methods to be discovered in the Taken King. Eris's reputation requirements for each rank have been adjusted to be faster, and Eris's reputation will no longer be capped at rank 4. Instead, it will allow players to receive reward packages for rank increases. And you will also earn rewards by continuing to level up your Crota's Bane reputation. So that's another reason why I wanted to point out Eris Morin's new location. Next up, we have the bounties. And if you take a close look at the bounties, you'll notice that they are completely new bounties. I've never seen any of these bounties before, which is definitely refreshing. And not only are there new bounties, but there's also more slots for those bounties. So you'll be able to do a lot more bounties without having to run back and forth to the tower. Another thing I wanted to quickly point out is if you go to one of the faction vendors, you'll see this faction allegiance pop up, which gives you the opportunity to pledge your allegiance to that faction for one week, and it costs 2,500 glimmer. So that way you don't have to wear one of the faction marks or bonds or cloaks in order to gain reputation with them. All you have to do is just pledge your allegiance for one week. And if for any reason you want to change your allegiance, you can just go to your inventory and abandon your allegiance. You can also use different supplies in order to gain reputation such as weapon parts or motes of light. There's also a bunch of new ghost shells and the way you get these new ghost shells is to go to the speaker and each of the ghost shells have different stats and when it comes to these new ghost shells I recommend that you equip one that has the highest defense because that's going to increase your light level the most. Now over here in the same area where the speaker is, you can also find the shader collection kiosk. And as you can see, they're categorized by the Taken King, the House of Wolves shaders, the Faction shaders, the Dark Below shaders, and different activity shaders. And you can also tell which ones that are gonna come with the Taken King by reading the description directly below the name of the shader. So some might say that you'll find them in New Monarchy packages or Dead Orbit packages or in the Taken King quest. And a really good thing about these shaders is that if you have at least one of that shader type, you can use it on all three of your characters. And on the Collection 2 tab, you see we have some more shaders, some being from the Iron Banner. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete one now just to show you all that even if you delete it, it'll still be in your kiosk, which is another reason why I really like this new shader collection kiosk. 
Now I did go see the Guardian Outfitter and she was offering a couple new shaders as well as a new emblem. But other than that, there's really not a whole lot of new stuff when it comes to the Guardian Outfitter. And directly next to the shader kiosk, you'll find the emblem kiosk, which is where you'll find all of the emblems that you've accumulated thus far. And they are categorized according to how you get those emblems. So there's gonna be some Taken King emblems, Dark Below emblems, House of Wolves, and factions. On the Collection 2 tab, you see some more faction emblems, as well as raid emblems, class, class starter and crucible emblems and the crucible emblems include anything from trials of osiris to iron banner on the collection three tab you see some more vendor emblems and on the collection four you see some promotional emblems next thing i want to talk about was the gunsmith the first thing you'll notice is that you can gain reputation with the gunsmith and starting tomorrow september the 9th you'll be able to field test his prototype weapons which will help you gain reputation with the gunsmith so I definitely recommend you go check him out once that becomes available. And again, I wanted to show all of the factions in the tower just to show y'all what's new and what's not. And um, the only thing that's new when it comes to the factions is pledging your allegiance. There wasn't anything new when it comes to the Vanguard Quartermaster. But if you go up here to the shipwright area, you'll see that there's a kiosk for your ship collection. And those are categorized just like the shaders and the emblems. You have your House of Wolves ships your strike ships, your faction ships, your crucible ships. And this ship right here, I believe is, yes, yeah, from the Iron Banner playlist. And this is one of the new ships that's gonna be released with the Taken King. And you can tell it's one of the new ships if you see that Taken King symbol in the top right corner of the icon. And here's a couple other ships that you can get from the crucible. Let's see right here, we have the High and Flighty, again with the same color as the other two. And out of all of the new Tekken King Crucible ships, I think I like this one the most. Now when it comes to the faction ships, you can see there's some new ones there as well. You have the new Monarchy ship. You also have this Future War Cult ship. And finally, you also have the Dead Orbit ship as well. And up here with the Tekken King, you can see if you complete quests, you can get access to this ship as well. And on this page, you can see more Crucible ships. You can see ships you get from treasure chests as well as more vendor ships. But the ships that I wanted to point out were the raid ships, and in particular, this one called Agonarch Carve. Because this is the ship that you're going to get from the King's Fall Raid. And in my opinion, I'm really liking this new ship because it definitely looks different from all of the older ships. It's not a reskin. It definitely looks new and unique, which is why I wanted to point it out in this video. And as for the Collection 3 tab, it's just some more vendor ships. Now, directly across from the ship kiosk, there is a vehicle kiosk, which is where you'll find all of your sparrows. They got them categorized by the Crucible Sparrows, Raid Sparrows, Basic Sparrows, and Vanguard and Upgraded Sparrows. But I didn't see any icons for the Taken King Sparrows. And as for the Collection 2 tab, all you have is more Upgraded Sparrows and the Promotional Sparrow from the Dark Below. And the last thing I wanted to point out before I go, it doesn't really have anything to do with the tower, but it is new and I wanted to let y'all know about it. If you choose the option not to wear your helmet, when people look at your character in the start menu, they're gonna see your character without their helmet. So not only does that option apply to when you're in social spaces like the tower, but it also applies to looking at your character in the menu screen. And there wasn't anything new when it comes to the shipwright either. Anyways, that'll do it for this video. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, don't forget to do what you do. I'm A1. Thanks for watching.